What is up, gang? It is your presidential trio back at it again. And this time around, we're making a seafood tier list and freaking frail. And Donald thought it would be hilarious for old Joe to get the most stupid list of them all. Like most of these animals aren't even cooked, man. Like there's an alive catfish on the first slide and a freaking jellyfish on here. Who the heck is eating jellyfish? I have been dishonored with this choice of a tier list. Come on, Joe, you know we chose you because you have some good takes when you want to have good takes. Plus, it was your turn, and we already knew you would complain. I told our editor, Frail, to make this list like that just so you can get screwed over. The people want Donald versus animals, and we are focusing our resources on that. It's not my fault you got left over with the booty tier list. Well, joke's on you because aside from the pictures on this tier list, I'm actually pretty big on seafood and like them when it's cooked, unless it's sushi, I guess. But I guess I will start this list for our precious viewers and all the big Joe heads out there. Uh, what and who are the Joe heads? Well, as the name implies, you idiot, they are fans of the Joe army and they worship me. Kind of like a cult, the more you think about it, but I do these tier lists for them. Anyways, up first we got catfish, and despite this picture of a very much so alive catfish looking mighty unappetizing, I have to be the first to say that fried catfish bangs, and I am a pretty big fan of it. I think all in all I will have to give it a solid A tier. I think most people like catfish, so this is a pretty safe bet. Yeah, I can see catfish going that high, but I can also see it going higher or lower. What kind of weenie-ass willy-nilly answer is that, Barack? The biggest non-answer ever if you say, yeah, I can see that, but I can also see it being higher or lower. Stop pandering to the damn audience, Barack, and put a real opinion. Fine, I like where it's at exactly, because catfish is good, but not the best on this list. There we go, Barry. That wasn't so hard, was it? Anyways, up next we got uh, what I presume to be our clams. Honestly, I think a solid B is in order for this one, but if you cook enough of these in butter, I won't be able to tell you the difference. But the same cannot be said for our next entry, which is crabs. Now, I don't want to hear no, oh, crabs are overrated talk in the comments because I love crabs. I am a crab man and I even love the imitation crab as well. This is an immediate S tier for me and I really have a hankering for some soft shell crab. I keep seeing people eat soft shell crab by cooking it in the air fryer and then just devouring that little dude hole, like with the shell and all. Well, no shit, Joe, it's a soft shell crab for a reason. Just because it's a soft shell doesn't mean the first thought is, oh man, I should eat this with the shell and all. Like, what the heck are you talking about? But enough of that, because we are moving to our next S tier, and that is crawfish. And get me a seafood boil with these bad boys in there, and I will practically sign whatever bill you want into existence. These bad boys are God's gift to humanity, and quite honestly, most shellfish are freaking amazing. Boy, it must suck to be allergic to these things, but honestly, even if I was allergic, I would just carry that thang on me and eat at a seafood place. What the hell are you talking about? What is that thang you're talking about? The EpiPen thingamabobber. I would eat as much as I could like a speed run of it, and then once the throat was closed up to the point where I couldn't breathe, boom, I would inject myself and be good to go. But honestly, if all people get are rashes or hives from seafood, the Joester only has one thing to say to you. Do not let your body tell you what you can't or can do. Always defy the odds and carry on. I don't know if that's good advice. Nah, I heavily smell him on that. The doctor said I was morbidly obese, and I turned and looked at him and said, I already know I am morbidly obese. He was stupefied at the thought of my superior brain power and tried telling me to stop eating KFC. Jesus Christ. Donald, you madman, you sure showed that stupid idiot doctor. I swear some of them are fake news. I got told I was suffering from Alzheimer and I just shook my head and laughed at him. But yeah, I swear some of them are fake news. I got told I was suffering from Alzheimer and I just shook my head and laughed at him. Uh, Joe, you do remember that we are currently doing a tier list, right? You just repeated yourself. A tier what now? Oh, snap, crackle, pop. There's some squid on our screen with a tier list. Man, whoever was making this so far was cooking, but it's time for the Joester to take over. And I have squid going into B tier. It's all right, but I am not about to throw it back for some squid. The only squid I fuck with is squid game. You guys smell me? But anyways, after that, we got octopus or squid tentacles. Listen, I couldn't tell you what that is, but either way, it's a B tier as well. Joe, I thought you were a freaking seafood expert. That's why we gave you this tier list to do. Maybe a self-proclaimed expert, but I do love seafood. My bad, I don't know the difference between octopus and squid tentacle. Also, this list isn't freaking labeled, and half the stuff on here is alive. What do you want me to do about that, Barack? You want me to go back in time and label this list? 
You want me to prepare every single dish on here and then take pictures of each one for our tier list? Shit, I may as well go out on a fishing boat and catch all of these before cooking them right. Okay, fine, I get it. I am sorry, please go on with the list. That's what I thought anyways. After that, we got snails. And last time I checked, I'm not a Frenchie, so I am placing this into C tier. Snails aren't as gross as you'd think, but still not amazing. Then after that, we got a freaking joke of a food that goes into D tier immediately, and that is a jellyfish. Like, can you honestly even eat these? Isn't it all just membrane? And like, even if you were to indulge in some jellyfish, it would be like six centimeters of meat to enjoy. Hey, Donald, that should be your catchphrase. Shut the hell up, Sleepy Joe. That's why you're not doing the animal fight tier list, and I am. I wouldn't want to make that anyways. I love animals, and I love to eat them. Moving on past that, we got shrimp, and I have to give this an S tier. I am a shrimp guy, and I love eating them in almost any way prepared. I think I would prefer them to be fried and just have some surf and turf. But following that, we got lobsters, and you all already know where this is going. Straight to S tier, because even though I admit it is overrated, I still have to say that in this pure seafood tier list, it belongs all the way up in S. Lobster rolls go absolutely crazy, and even just normal lobster with tons of butter will make any man shed tears of joy. That is, of course, if you're not allergic. I want them to die for lobster. I know I would. Following that, we then got mussels, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of mussels. I'm a pretty big fan of mussels and their overall flavor slash texture. I think an A tier is good for this, but then up next, we got a whole ass octopus. And again, I don't think it is appetizing at all to have the very much so alive animal for the picture, not to mention it's an underwater picture. So already in my mind, I got this vivid image of an octopus swimming happily in the water, and that's what's gonna be going in my mouth to eat. I'll still give it as B tier because I swear I have had octopus before and it actually kind of slapped. I can't even lie to you guys. Some octopus ceviche kind of goes hard and I would recommend seafood lovers to try it. But before I hear any other comments, I'm actually going to need you all to try our next entry after because we have smoked oysters and this immediately goes into A tier. The reason for such a high rating is because I have recently seen a lot of TikTok videos and they recommended some smoked oysters from a can and some homemade garlic bread. And oh boy, it's a combo that will make you want some more and more. I think for that alone, it deserves a solid A tier for being that delicious. Way to go on a long ass rant about oysters and octopuses, Joe. I was about to shit on you for your opinions, but like I keep saying in other videos, for some odd and mysterious reason, you choose to have good takes whenever you make tier lists. But when it comes to me and Barack, you always have these abhorrent and rancid takes on our lists. What? Me? No way. I guarantee you that if either me or Barry were doing this tier list, you would be jumping for joy at the thought of eating some jellyfish. Nah, it's all in your head, man. I always have the same takes, no matter who is doing what tier list. Anyways, enough of your blasphemy, and let's move on to our next entry, which is salmon. And of course, this is an obvious S tier. This is like a god tier food in any tier list, I feel like. It's a goddamn superfood and I will enjoy any type of salmon that is prepared in any type of way. And uh, up next, we got what I think are sardines. And now, while I love sardines from a can and tomato sauce, I uh, just cannot place it that high and we'll be giving it a C tier. Yeah, I don't really mess with sardines either, but they're not awful. Like some people will act like they just ate out of grandma's booty hole when they have some sardines. That is gross, dude. Don't bring up grandmothers in that context. Have some more shame, Barack. After that, we got scallops, and I like me some good scallops, and believe it merits a solid B tier. It is no smoked oysters, that's for sure, but still good. Then after we got prawns, I believe, or maybe the one before was prawns, and this is shrimp. Listen, I honestly am not quite sure, but it really does not matter because they are both ranked as an S tier in my eyes. Wow, why the hell did we even allow you to make this when you don't even know the difference? Listen, man, I chose to do this one out of the kindness in my own heart. I am sorry I can't tell you the difference, but like, what do you want me to do? Like, what the hell is that next thing? Another freaking squid slash octopus. This is a C tier, I don't care anymore. And then after that is some canned food. What the hell is that? I don't care, this is a C tier too, because apparently it's too hard to just label and prepare the foods for old Joe. I'm gonna sleep. Wow, uh, what now? Well, we could be nice people and go apologize to Crybaby Joe and tell him that we will try to do better next time because we care about him as a person. Or we can announce that Sunday, 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 we will hold the Donald versus Animals list this Sunday. Amazing plug for our upcoming video. I am glad someone said it because that video is going to pop off. But uh, aside from that, I am guessing we're not apologizing to Joe, right? No shit.